What's going on, Diesel World Reaction? This is your boy Juan Diesel, and I'm back as always with another video. This one's called Who Was Ted Bunny? You know, in case y'all don't know, Ted Bunny was a serial killer back in the day. So, that being said, let's get into it, folks, and let's learn about the man they call Ted Bundy. Original Conversations with a Killer, the Ted Bundy tapes, uses video and audio recordings of interviews with Bundy to get inside his mind. Yeah, I'm just a normal individual. So who was he, and why are true crime fans still fascinated with him decades later? Ted Bundy killed more people in more states than anyone we've ever heard of. He was born Theodore Robert Cowell in 1946 to an unwed mother and was partially raised by his grandparents. He moved around the country as a child, eventually landing in Washington State, where his mother married a man named John Bundy. Biographers say he was bright and charismatic. His good looks and charm helped him gain acceptance into political circles. He could be the guy next door. Your fiance, your husband, your boyfriend, your lover. And then that evening, by his own determination, at his own discretion, transformed himself into perhaps the most diabolical killer we've ever known. He enrolled in law school in 1973, but by the following year seemed to lose interest and dropped out. While authorities don't know when Bundy first started to kill, the earliest crimes they were able to link to him were in Washington State in 1974. A college student was badly beaten and sexually assaulted in her basement apartment. And after that, young women in the state started disappearing every month until the summer. Around that time, Bundy moved to Utah, where authorities say his killing spree continued. The cute driver leaned over and rolled down the passenger window and asked me if I'd like a ride. Rhonda Stapley claims she encountered Bundy one night while she was waiting for a bus. She says he offered her a ride and she accepted. I thought that he was going to kiss me. Instead, he said very quietly, do you know what? I'm going to kill you. Stapley claims he drove her to a remote area where he tried to strangle her, but she escaped. Many other victims weren't so lucky. Bundy admitted to killing at least 30 women, abducting, raping, and strangling them. He also revisited his crimes by going back to view the corpses he left behind or bringing them home and continuing to assault them, sometimes sexually. Deborah Jean Kent went missing from her high school in Utah in 1974. I sat in the police station listening to his voice and listening to that horrible tape of him saying um, that he had followed my sister from the iPhone or whatever it was, and that is the first time I'd ever felt anger and hate, and I, I was physically ill. Bundy was arrested in Utah in 1975 after being placed under surveillance for suspicious activity. He was arrested and convicted of kidnapping and assault of one victim. He escaped custody, but was recaptured in Colorado. He escaped once again in 1977 and made his way to Florida, where investigators say he claimed six more lives. Once again, it was a traffic violation that brought him down. He was put on trial in which he partially defended himself. Bundy was convicted of murder, but that didn't stop him from trying to carry on with his life. Will you marry me? Yes. And I do hereby marry you. Thank you. Bundy proposed to Carol Ann Boone in court during the sentencing phase of his trial. They dated before his initial arrest. And when she had a daughter in 1982 with Bundy behind bars, she named him as the father. But the defiant move didn't sway a judge who handed down a death sentence in this case. It is further ordered that on such schedule with age that you be put to death by current of electricity sufficient to cause you immediate death. The punishment has done little to comfort the families he devastated. The mother of victim Denise Nasland says her daughter's murder ruined her life. I uh, developed agoraphobia and I don't go out anymore. 
in this house 24 hours a day. It's like dying. Just think of how things were before Ted Bundy came into our lives. Nothing's the same anymore. While he confessed to many crimes, investigators say he recanted many statements and couldn't be trusted to tell the truth. Ted Bundy was executed by electric chair in Florida on January 24, 1989, at age 42, taking his secrets with him about the full and true extent of his reign of terror. This is InsideEdition.com.